Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is literally 5 a.m. in the morning. I have no idea how I am awake right now, but I am. I got all my clothes ready last night. My workout clothes. My everything. I got it ready last night because I want to start working out in the morning. It's really early. Okay. My husband is still sleeping. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to weigh in. And we're going to get my starting weight for this brand new journey that I'm completely redoing. So let's get it started. Sorry guys, it took me a while. I just know that the scalp does talk. I've gained weight in the next two weeks that it has been since I weighed myself. I have gained a lot of weight. So, we're gonna get this started. Let's go. Hey guys, I just finished my workout. I did 40 minutes and then I'm gonna do the walking back, which is about another five to seven minutes. So, gym session went really good. I was a little worried there. So I almost threw up, so my body's not used to it, so, oh, but I did it. Now I'm going to go home, take a shower, and eat me some breakfast, and then head off to work, and we'll do it all again tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, what's up? I just wanted a video so that you know I am in the gym. I'm already done with my workout, and I'm tired. I've been here for... 39 minutes and it's going to take another seven minutes to walk back so that's a total of 47 minute workout um there i am in all my glory yeah it's gotten bad so it is tuesday uh november 28th i believe um i'll put the date right here but y'all have a great tuesday keep working out Hey guys, what's up? It's Tuesday, November 29th. Um, by the way, happy birthday, Grandma. I love you with everything that I am. I love you. Happy birthday. With that being said, it is November 29th. Um, I did go to the gym this morning. I don't... I don't like to record myself in the gym. Because I'm already... I don't know. I'm already embarrassed to be in there with the people in there. So to record myself, I mean, it's just, I can't. So if you want to know what I'm up to um, during the week um, and just to keep up with this journey that I am on, I'll leave all my links to my social media down below, Instagram and Snapchat or what I'm on the most. Snapchat, I update more frequently than Instagram. So um, I'll leave all that down below. But I just wanted to tell you my stats. Um... I just wanted to tell you my stats because I did work out this morning. I'm gonna open my watch. Um, and guys, I did not want to get up this morning. I had a, about a 95% chance of me not getting up this morning, and I was not going to. I didn't want to get up. I didn't feel like I needed to get up. And then I heard like, a small voice inside me that says, girl, get up. Destroy this fucking workout. Excuse my language. Destroy this workout. Get up. Do it. You, you make excuses all the time. You do this all the time. Just get up. So I just got up and I just went. So I get all my stuff ready the night before. Um, one, so one, I don't disturb my husband because he is off today and tomorrow. And he works really hard. So I don't like to... Um, bother him while he's sleeping because we have such a, we have an apartment and it's small so we can hear everything so I don't want to wake him up too much um so last night so I got my stuff ready last night my gym clothes and my gym bag and this is my stats today um I did close the green ring on my iWatch as you can see As you can see, I did close my green ring on my watch. Um, today's workout, I burned, let's 
Let's see. Today's workout, I'm pulling it up right now. Today's workout, I burned 586 calories. Um, and I've already completed... <laughs> And I've already, I, I'm 489, I'm sorry, I was reading the wrong one. I was reading the one from yesterday. 489 calories today. Um, I'm very proud of myself that I went. Because this is something that is very hard for me to do. As y'all can tell, I've been on YouTube for two or three years, per, two or three years, and I still have not accomplished my goal that I set out in the beginning, and this weight loss journey is not easy. In fact, it's probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, and it's ridiculous how hard it is, how hard it is, because I want so much to just accomplish this, because this is not the person I'm supposed to be. Like, I'm not supposed to be this overweight person, you know, so... I did it. It's day three. I did it. I've gone Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I will be going... Sorry, I'm on my phone. I will be going tomorrow, um, as well as Friday. Um, I might um, still be active on Saturday and Sunday. That means just walking around my apartment complex at a slow, spa at a slow pace. Um, but so far, I did good. So... That's my update for Tuesday, and I will see y'all tomorrow for another update. Bye, guys. Good morning, everyone. It is see, 5.59 in the morning. I just finished my workout. I got up at 5 o'clock this morning. So, total so far, I burned 542 calories. And I'm walking back to my apartment right now. Today, getting up was a little hard. Um... Um, the, the only reason why it was so hard was because I was in a lot of pain this morning. I'm going to have to step down and try to get some good lighting because it's dark. Because I was in a lot of pain. I didn't want to get up because the pain was intense. <coughs> my quads were fucking killing me. Excuse my language. Um my back for those of you who are not my family and don't know me that well oh at all really I have really bad back problems and it every morning my back is really really stiff um, it's so stiff to the point that I'm walking like a robot because I have this thing called straight spine syndrome <clears throat> and it's where my spine doesn't curve like a normal people do I don't have that curvature in my spine so it's very painful but I did it and I got up and I'm working out every day this week and I'm so proud of myself you have no idea but I'm walking back to my apartment right now everyone have a good Thursday I'll see you tomorrow bye good morning everyone it's Friday December 1st my last day of the week for workouts and I am so tired I did the hardest workout today but I got through it and I did it it was really really hard but I did it I pushed myself I made it through the week so with that being said I'll see y'all on Sunday bye guys <laughs>
Tammy? Huh? Are you tired? Yes. <laughs> Why are you tired? Because your death note is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> is it on me? Yes. She's tired, guys. And she's tired because I have a secret list here of stuff that needs to be done during my workout on a Saturday. Well, we don't even have to be here, but we're here. Hey, guys. We just got done with our workout. Me and my sister did about an hour. 60 minutes. We did a whole hour workout. It's, and we still have to walk back. So we do consider that a workout, as y'all know. <laughs> so far, I've burned, oh, let me see, 712 calories so far. I burned 325. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Um, it is about to be 12, and I just got up, and it's time for weigh-in. It is Sunday, so. As y'all saw, during the week, I went all week to the gym, workout, and I did eat healthy all week. Um, my diet has complete, my healthy eating style has completely changed a hundred percent. So I have the scale right here, and I'm about to weigh in, so let's go. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because that's fucking impossible for me. Woo. Wow. Well, there you have it, people. 326 pounds this week. From 335 on Monday to 326. That's how hard work gets you. Fuck yeah. I'll see you on a bit. Hey, guys. What's up? So, that was my week in a nutshell. Um, you saw the way in. So, I'm so... So, so happy about that weigh-in. Um, I know y'all are all probably wondering where I have been, what happened to my journey. I was supposed to do it. Um, you know, guys, I don't have no excuses for anything. My journey stopped because I didn't feel like I was ready at that point. And I may have looked ready, but I'm, I wasn't ready, trust me. Um, this was... This journey is not easy and if you look at a lot, of, a lot of other weight loss videos you'll find a consistency within all of them that this journey is not easy it's actually really really hard um this journey is the toughest thing i have think i have ever tried to accomplish in my life it has not been easy by any means at all um for some reason this weight is something that i constantly struggle with on a daily basis um so that's why I had stopped working out. Excuse me, I have to get my glasses. Um, that's why I had stopped the working out and I had stopped the eating healthy and I had everything had just came to a complete like standstill. Um, I didn't care. I didn't care about my body. I didn't care about my health. I didn't care about anything at the point of before of the videos that you had saw when I was really trying to do it. Um, I was in a very dark place at that time. Um, emotionally, I was in a very dark place. I hide it really well, but I was in a really dark place. I kind of closed myself into my own house. I didn't want to go anywhere. I didn't want to do anything. Um, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do the weight loss. But I, I came to a conclusion that... I don't I think it was a moment and everyone within the weight loss community has that moment where it's like a, a light bulb goes off like oh my god what did I do to myself um, mine was mine was just a culmination of moments it was my health declining it was the image in the mirror it was um, couldn't where when I would get up off the couch I would breathe really hard because it was so hard for me to get up off the couch um, it was just a culmination of everything that kind of led me to this point of wanting to lose the weight finally um, again I am taking it day by day um, one day at a time it's not something I know it's not going to change overnight and I think that's what, what my mentality was back then was I was expecting it to happen overnight and it didn't 
and I got disappointed in myself and I kind of just stopped doing it and I was like you know what forget it I'm not gonna do it anymore it doesn't happen overnight then fine um, so I think that's what happened and then me and my sister were talking um, not uh, about a week and a half ago before the Monday that you saw that I had got up at 5 a.m. we started talking and we're like you know what we really just need to do this this is something that is detrimental to our health it's something that's very important that we need to do because if we don't change it we're not going to be here for much longer and that's not fair to people we love that's not fair to my husband um my wedding rings don't even fit anymore i mean it's just not fair at all to anyone that loves us and not even to ourselves it's not fair that we limit ourselves like this so we had decided to make the decision to start getting up at 5 a.m the reason why I chose 5 a.m. I mean, people are like, well, why are you getting up at 5 a.m.? Just go in the afternoon after work. No, I can't. I've tried. Like, I've tried to go. And I've even had my gym bag in my car. I go to the gym, and I'm just not motivated. I don't want to be there when I get out of work. For other people who do that, that's perfectly fine. But me, I cannot work out after work. When I get off after work, I want to come home. I want to clean. I want to relax in my home. You know, I still have a lot to do after work, and I just can't have that get in the way. So, the 5 a.m. thing came along because I wanted to change my habits. We wanted to change our bad habits. We wanted to build new habits. And that's how kind of this whole thing started with um, the weight loss journey that we are now on, me and my sister. Um, I'll post her, I'll put her a link to her Instagram down below so y'all could follow her because she updates her weight loss Instagram also. So, I will put all that links and everything down below that you need. Um... But that's where all this had started and we just figured you know what let's just get up at 5 a.m it's easier for me to get up at 5 a.m i mean it may not look like it from the video that you saw and getting up at 5 a.m is really hard it's difficult yes um, but we did it and she got up at 5 a.m i got up we got dressed i get all my stuff ready the day before and i grab it and i head out the door i mean it's just bam bam go you know and i walk to my gym and i do an hour and i walk back and I take a shower and I have enough time to make breakfast. I have enough time to sit down and relax. And it's just, it's a, it's a lot better routine that I have that I appreciate. So that is what I loved about getting up at 5 a.m. this whole week. Was it hard? Yes. It was probably the hardest thing I think I've ever done in my life was get up at 5 a.m. And that, the first day of getting up on Monday that you saw was probably the best afterwards was the best feeling I think I've ever had in my life um, I woke up I did my workout it was just the best feeling in the world to just accomplish and do and and come home and get dressed and eat breakfast and have everything ready and just be able to sit down and be able to understand and know that I have accomplished more than a lot of people have before 7 a.m. and it was just the best feeling in the world and that feeling kind of continued Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday and as you saw the workouts on Saturday that was kind of a bonus uh, me and my sister kind of had I was gonna go see my sister because she lives about 40 minutes from 30 minutes 30 to 40 minutes from me with traffic um, so we had decided you know what we don't always get to work out together we don't live close let's just take this opportunity now that we're gonna see each, each other on a Saturday let's just take this opportunity and just work out and see how we are together and it was the most amazing workout I think one of my definitely one of my top three workouts with just in general because it was it was motivating. It was great to have someone there who is on this journey with you, who is motivated like you and who keeps you accountable and who keeps you on track. And it was just amazing. We were motivating each other. I got tired. She was motivating me, telling me to keep going and pushing. And it was just this most amazing workout that I think I've ever had. And I burned a total of 700 and something calories that entire day. And it was just amazing. Um, so... I just, you know, I'm very excited about this whole journey. And as you saw, I lost nine pounds, guys. Oh, my God. And I'm so happy. Um, this is probably the highest weight I have ever been. 335 has definitely been the highest weight that I have ever been in my life. Um, so to lose nine pounds and to be in the 320s is a big accomplishment for me. It may not be a big accomplishment for everyone else. And everyone else may not look at it as an accomplishment, but I definitely do. I see it as a huge accomplishment for me because it is a 
it is a reward for all my hard work throughout last week. Um, getting up at the 5 a.m., making my lunches, making my breakfast, making sure that I stay on track on my calories and my and my diet plan. I am, I am on a very, very strict diet plan. And I am on a very strict workout regimen. So when I follow that and I accomplish it and I complete it, it is something that I am very proud of. So to lose the 9 pounds has definitely been the best I think reward that I could have gotten ever within this journey that so far because it has showed me that at 335 pounds it can still be accomplished you could still wake up at 5 a.m. you can still work out and you can still eat right everything that I had done before that point has been excuses so me and my sister we stopped making excuses we stopped complaining we stop saying how this isn't fair and that isn't fair and we don't have time to do this and we don't have time to we stopped making the excuses we stopped complaining and we just basically shut our mouth and just do it and that's what i did you know so it that's i mean the nine pounds is the reward for that so i am extremely happy um i will continue these videos throughout my weight loss i am so excited that y'all are back with me that i am back on youtube i just i i love being on youtube i love sharing my journey with not only myself and my family but all of y'all who need the extra motivation and who need the extra support um, so I am very very happy that I am here with y'all back again, and I am not going anywhere I swear I'm gonna just like you saw the video today. That's how it's gonna be. So I will record a little snippets Monday through um, Friday Saturday was a bonus. So y'all are probably not gonna get that y'all might it depends on what I have planned um, I might do like a meal thing on Saturday like a healthy meal thing and just kind of cook it and then show y'all or I don't know We'll see how that happens. Um but yeah, Saturday was just a bonus, but I will do snippets Monday through Friday and then end the video on Sunday with my weigh-in. And I'm so happy and I'm so excited that y'all are all here with me to share this journey. Thank you so much to the people who are still remaining on my channel, who are still dedicated and who still want to see my journey and want to see where it's going. Trust me, stay tuned. This is not the end. I am not quitting this time. I am 31 years old and it's time that I, it's high time that I get my tail back to work. I mean, this is it. Like, this is the moment. This is the defining moment to me. This is what's going to define me. This is going to say, if if I keep going, then I'll lose the weight. But if I stop, then I'm never going to do it again. Like, this is it. This is the defining moment. So I'm so happy and I'm so excited to be here with y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Tune in next Sunday. I will be here. If you want to keep up to dates with me um, throughout the week, I have my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my sister's Instagram all down below in the links below. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I hope you stick by to see my journey. Click the subscribe button down below and just subscribe and be here with me. Be part of the, be part of the Health Freaks family. I love y'all very much. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you again on Sunday. Bye, guys.